If you want to test any of your application on Kubernetes cluster in the cloud, it is a bit expensive task. Is there any way you can test or you can run your application on your local system on the Kubernetes cluster? Yes, that is where Minikube comes into the picture. Hey guys, welcome to Velaxi Technologies. My name is J.R. Shankar. In this video, we are going to see how to set up Minikube on Windows. Let's jump in and see what are the prerequisites, then how to install the Minikube on Windows. So to install Minikube, you can just search for Minikube setup on Windows. And the first link, Minikube start. If you go here, here you can see the prerequisites. These are the prerequisites and then installation procedure. Based on our operating system, we can choose which installer do you need. Anyway, first if you see the prerequisites, we need two CPUs or more. 2 GB free memory, 20 GB of free disk space, internet connection and container and virtual mission manager. So it can be anything. In this case, I am going with the Docker. So we can install Docker by clicking over here and here we have steps or else you can search for Docker installation on Windows. So you will get a direct executable files. So just go to install on Windows Docker documentation. And here you can see executable to install Docker desktop. So I will go with this procedure. I will install Docker desktop. Let's download it. And uh, if you go here, come back. And all these four things are already satisfied in my system. I have enough resources and uh, I have connected to the internet already. Okay, download has been completed and I'm going to execute this one. It is asking to use the WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. Yeah, I am choosing this one and add shortcut to desktop. I am just unchecking that. And it is unpacking files as part of the installation. Installation completed successfully. Let's close this and we can test this one by opening the command prompt and Docker version if you search. Yep. You can see here the Docker version is 20.10.20. It is installed. Now let's go back and let's install the Kubernetes. I mean to say Minikube. To install Minikube, we need to select the operating system. In this case, it is Windows and uh, architecture. You need to select and release type stable or beta installation type dot exe. Even we can go with the Windows package manager or chocolatey. We will go with the dot exe download. And here, if you see the first step, we can do the latest release installer, nothing but how we have done the Docker installation, right? Similar way, Minikube installation also we can do by downloading the package. If you click over here, it is going to download Minikube installer. It is one step, just, uh, just to execute this one so that Minikube install. Other way is uh, we can execute this through the PowerShell, okay? Let's go with the PowerShell model. In this case, it is going to download the Minikube executables from this location. This is the GitHub location. Even you can check this one. I think till releases, if you take, and if you give in the browser, yes, version 1.28.0 is the current version, and uh, you can see the previous ins versions as well, version 1.27.1. Anyway, so we are trying to download the latest version. By default, it is going to take the latest version of Kubernetes and copies that into the C drive. In the C drive, Minikube one folder get creates, I mean to say directory get creates and copy it over there. Just copy this one and open the PowerShell. Let me increase the font size and copy this. Now you can see here it is downloading the required packages from the GitHub. Once it is downloaded, then we need to just set up the path. You can see here, second step, we need to set up the path of minikube.exe. And it will be get copied into the uh, this PC, C drive, and minikube. Here it is getting copied. You can see here, size is uh, 1300, 520. If you refresh, it is growing. Okay. So we are just copying through PowerShell. Let's wait until download is completed. Alright, now download has been completed. Hey guys, now Velaxi started conducting live trainings on DevOps, Azure DevOps, DevOps project and interview training. If you are interested, we are starting a new DevOps interview preparation session from November 19th. You can enroll it from here or over here. Here you have the details about DevOps interview preparation session 
and here are the program highlights and you can download course curriculum from here thank you now if you run mini cube okay it doesn't work because it hasn't set up the path yet okay now let's go to second step and uh, set up the path let me copy this one and uh, it is unable to set up the path let me close this one because the permission could be the issue run it as a administrator yes and uh, now let's copy the command okay now we have set up and to run the mini cube now just close the windows and open the powershell again and increase the font size and run mini cube and now you can see here okay the command is executing fine and mini cube status if you see it is throwing some error because so docker is not running you can see here docker is not running either we can start the docker manually or else we can reboot the system uh, after the docker installation we should reboot the system let me quickly restart my system all right i have restarted my system now my docker service is up and running in case if you want to check your docker service you can just go to docker desktop and you can check it out now let's check the mini cube status okay this time it is not throwing the similar kind of error which we got earlier now mini cube start whenever we run mini cube start it is going to set up the kubernetes cluster on our local system Alright, now Minikube installation is completed successfully. Now if I check for Minikube status, okay, it is up and running and uh, kubectl get all, if you run, it is going to display the all the services which are running in your cluster. That's all for this lecture. In next lecture, we are going to see how to run commonly used Kubernetes commands in the Minikube. Thanks for watching and see you there.